The Salvation Army's empty stocking fund is crucial for the organization to continue their mission throughout the new year. It allows them to continue helping domestic violence victims. News 13's Emma Riley sat down with a domestic violence survivor who says the Salvation Army's program had a big impact on her life. Were there times during that three and a half months that you feared for your life at all? Yes, I was, because especially he had a guns at home. He was a person who likes guns. When Maria sold all of her belongings and left a successful career in Brazil, she was in pursuit of a loving marriage and a father to her son. When um, you meet someone that tells you a lot of things that you want to hear, and I love you, I'm going to do everything for you, I will love you, uh, this is going to be my last time to marry, come on, let's do it, let's try. And I said, okay, I'm going to try. And I treat your son like my son. In just three and a half months, she realized she left her freedom and independence in Brazil. Yelling, cursing you, start to say a lot of bad things about you, and then you said, wow, this is not what I want from me. And then he started to say, I'm going to call your mother, your family, and tell you that I'm going to send you back. Quickly, Maria found herself trapped in a home with no food, no money, no job, and no internet access. One day, he arrived at home and told me, get all your stuff packaged because I'm taking you and your son to a house in Michigan Avenue with 11 Mexican. I said, what? Yeah, I'm going to take you out of here. You don't want to get out of here? I'm going to take. Maria decided she needed to be an example for her son, whatever the cost. So I called my advocate. It was at night, and I explained her. He was in front of me, and she started yelling on the phone and said, no, you are not leaving the house. You are not doing anything. He heard, but he didn't say anything. So the next day, he call, she called me and told me, hey, are you can you pack all your stuff and find someone to bring you here? I have a place to take you and your son. The Salvation Army put Maria and her son in a hotel for 45 days. After that, they made a place for them at the shelter. My fairy tale turned a nightmare. So I said, for me, it was enough. And they, they asked me, you sure you don't want to try again to see if the things work on? No, I don't want. It was enough for me. And in that moment, she began rebuilding her life from scratch. You know, we are, they are protecting us from someone who wanted to hurt us. So we stayed there for two years. Maria was left with nothing, but the Salvation Army provided her a place to live, clothes for her and her son, a job and a car. If I'm still alive with my son, it's just because the Salvation Army helped us. My experience was the best. They help a lot of people. And through it all, there was one thing that couldn't be stolen from Maria. My faith, uh, you know, God shows us in very little details that he is with you. What does your life look like now and what do you hope for the future? Better things, but not to do the same mistakes. <laughs> we expect better things. If uh, people can help the sufficient arm because their work, it's amazing. Surprise me and surprise my family and friends. When I start to talk of them about this and they tell me, hey, I didn't know that um, they do this kind of work. I said, yeah, it's an amazing work. In Panama City, Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. There is still time to donate to the Empty Stocking Fund. You can visit our website, mypanhandle.com. You can also drop a check by the deposit box in the Bill Kramer Chevrolet showroom on 23rd Street, or you can send your donation directly to the Salvation Army. Their address is 1824 West 15th Street in Panama City.